Good morning and welcome to UCCL. It is top of the morning. I'm Dr. Raywin Grant and I'm super happy to be joined this morning by my dear friend and chief scientist at Esri, Dr. Don Wright. Welcome, Don. Thank you so much, Dr. Ray Wynn Grant. It is delightful to be here with you again. I have to this say, I am a big fan of Don's. She knows this. We actually talk a lot mm -hmm. outside of UC. So it's really fun for us to start the day together. And you're going to see much more of Don and a little bit more of me throughout the day as we address many different Esri related topics. So, in keeping with the theme of sustainability, you might notice that we're in a slightly different yeah. location this Beautiful. morning, and it is not a tropical getaway. We're <laughs> actually in the courtyard of Esri's newest building, and it has been meticulously designed in a way that promotes sustainability, that uses local sustainable materials, and there's a wonderful background story to how this landscape was constructed. So I think Don and I might spend a little bit more time here for our chat with you all this morning. Now we're on day two of UC. Yesterday was a big hit. We've been hearing from all of you via social media over and over how much you're enjoying it, what questions you have, and Don and I would like to encourage everybody to continue to use social media. Keep the chitter chatter alive, <laughs> send us your questions, send us your pictures as well, and make sure that we are building that community so strongly. Mm -hmm. We're going to have more polls for you today, more quizzes for you today, more special guests today, a lot of really incredible surprises. So with all that said, Don, we went through yesterday. It was really fun. Do you have some highlights that you want to talk about that happened yesterday? And maybe you can share some things that you're yeah. excited about for today. Definitely. I love what you said about building community because yeah. that was one of the big themes that came out of yesterday's sessions for me. Yeah. You know, as usual, Jack starts off by giving this fantastic message, setting the stage for us in terms of why we are here yes. to network, to build community, to learn also that technology is not the answer. Sure. You know, that's one of the things that I think comes out of this that is really important. It is the way that mm -hmm. we use technology. Mm -hmm. It is the way that we partner and we support each other mm -hmm. with technology. Mm -hmm. Technology is that enabling force to get us to a more sustainable future. Yeah. So I love this theme of GIS for a sustainable future, yes. but not GIS alone. And that's really, really important because many of us are big fans of GIS technology. Mm -hmm. We have grown up using it in our work. You know, Don and I are both natural scientists that use a lot of GIS in what we do. And because of that, sometimes we can focus mm -hmm. on GIS as a solution. But mm -hmm. truly, it's a tool that can get us to many great places. And to me, that's why we have this large community of users. You can be yes. a young student all the way up to, you know, a senior citizen using GIS to do exactly. some, you know, community science work and everyone in between. So I'm really glad that you're emphasizing that message. And what yes. else is standing out to you? Well, in addition to that, the technology is really exciting. Yeah. So there was a <laughs> lot of mentions yesterday of digital twins. Yeah. And I think this is really important because we have learned about digital twins now in terms of rebuilding or emphasizing the built environment, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it was wonderful to see the emphasis of building a digital twin in the natural environment yes. for sustainable solutions. And it's very important for scientists like you and me, mm -hmm, Ray, because mm -hmm. especially for those of us who do spend time out in the field, yep. we are out there alone or with a oh, small yeah. group of people <laughs> gathering our data. but the data that we gather can become part of this bigger network, this bigger community, this bigger thing mm -hmm. called a digital twin mm -hmm. that then allows us to look into the future yeah. and to have these uh, scenarios to help us anticipate and solve the problems that are going to come up because of what we are experiencing due to climate change. 
Absolutely. So, and I, you yeah. know, one of the things that I always love about talking to you, Don, is your emphasis on solutions. You know, you're so often talking about how we have the tools to really address the problems that we're seeing mm -hmm. as a global community and really solve them. And GIS mm -hmm. is a powerful tool to get us, you know, at these micro scales or very, yeah. very macro global scales. So there's a lot of buzz about solutions, which is very refreshing, yes, very especially important. for people like us in the yeah. environmental science community. Um, but also the digital twin aspect, really great that you're mentioning that. On Twitter, there was so much discussion about digital twins. So we'd really like to see that continuing mm -hmm. throughout today. And so moving forward with today, uh -huh. there are some really special guests who you'll be sitting down with, Don. Yes. Can you give us a little teaser of what's coming well, up? Well, I thought I had reached the pinnacle with you, Ray, and we, <laughs> so I'm going to stay at the pinnacle, but we're going to build that <laughs> network and bring in James Fallows uh, yeah, uh, of so the Atlantic, who is this fantastic uh, journalist mm -hmm. and a Redlands native, mm. and who has been I traveling didn't know across. That. Oh yes, okay. Yes, you, will, you will probably hear more he about home. that. He comes home. He comes <laughs> home. He comes home to us. He continues to remember us and to mm. write about us mm -hmm. uh, as he travels around the world, but mm. especially as he and his wife have been traveling back and forth across this country yeah. and visiting our towns, so to speak. So oh, wonderful. he will likely be talking about that type of geojournalism sure. and telling those important stories as he travels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it will be uh, very much in line with the keynote addresses that mm -hmm. we're going to have today. Mm -hmm. And we will also be in conversation with Jeffrey Sachs of Columbia University, yeah, a fantastic. true citizen of the planet. Mm -hmm. I think he will be coming to us from Greece. Wow. So uh, that will be an exciting conversation. Oh, definitely. And then I am really looking forward to another conversation that I will have with some of our outstanding environmental scientists in our professional services division. Wonderful. So we will have a panel of all women, all women of color. Fantastic. So we're going to rock the house today. It's oh, yeah. Be fantastic. And honestly, I'm so glad you're mentioning that because today's emphasis, to me at least, is definitely on intersectionality. Yes. So we're bringing in journalists. Yes. We're bringing in economists. We are having a panel of women of color at Esri. Mm -hmm. You know, John and I are going to have a conversation about land and sea. Yes, I, can't, fact, I cannot to wait for that. use our two communities. <laughs> in fact, the, the, the clock will probably run out on us because we'll get going definitely. like a couple girlfriends oh, at a coffee will. shop. Yeah, it will. <laughs> but we, <laughs> we hope you all will be having as much fun as we are. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're also having a conversation later today about conservation very distinctly yes. and about how Esri has a team of folks working on tools that can help people in wildlife and landscape conservation. So a very interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary, intersectional day that we're going to have at UC. But we still have our plenaries, our tech sessions, mm -hmm. all of that great information for our users.